Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. High upon the limestone bluffs that majestically overlook the winding Mississippi River, the small town of Hannibal, Missouri reveals a secret etched into its rugged landscape. It's a tale of love, loss, and legend that spans generations. This is the story of Lover's Leap. Lover's Leap is a scenic overlook that has become a symbol of the town of Hannibal. The name, as one might guess, suggests a romantic story. The legend of Lover's Leap tells of an ill-fated romance between a two young Native American people. It's kind of like the North American version of Romeo and Juliet. As the tale goes, a young Native American woman known as Winona, or Manoa in some versions of the tale, fell deeply in love with a young Native American man named White Cloud. Their love was forbidden, as their tribes were at odds, yet their passion knew no bounds. Tragically, in the face of cultural divide, their love story came to a heart-wrenching end. The love between Winona and White Cloud led to a daring escape, and they retreated to the cliffs overlooking the Mississippi River. As they stood there, the tribes, determined to separate them, closed in. Rather than face a future apart, the young lovers chose to leap from the towering cliffs hand in hand into the churning river below. The river swallowed them, forever uniting their spirits in the afterlife. Beyond the legend, Lover's Leap holds historical and cultural significance in Hannibal. The cliffs themselves are part of the scenic beauty that captivated a young Samuel Clemens, who would later become known as Mark Twain. His boyhood years in Hannibal were steeped in the history and beauty of the town, and it's believed that the picturesque view from Lover's Leap inspired his writings about the Mississippi River in The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, the real-life Lover's Leap today. Today, Lover's Leap remains a popular tourist destination in Hannibal. It offers breathtaking panoramic views of the Mississippi River and the surrounding landscape. Visitors can take in the scenic beauty and reflect on the legend of the ill-fated lovers who chose to leap from its cliffs rather than be separated. The story of Lover's Leap continues to captivate the imagination of those who visit Hannibal, adding a touch of romance and tragedy to the town's rich history. The legend of Lover's Leap and its stunning location in Hannibal, Missouri, undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the young Samuel Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain. Lover's Leap, with its tragic tale of ill-fated lovers leaping from the cliffs, had a profound influence on Twain's storytelling and his childhood experiences in Hannibal. Here's how this captivating legend and location left their marks on Mark Twain and his writings. Lover's Leap, perched high above the Mississippi River, provided Mark Twain with an enduring source of inspiration for his vivid descriptions of the natural beauty of the river and its surroundings. The breathtaking views from Lover's Leap found their way into Twain's literary works, such as The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. His ability to paint pictures with words was greatly influenced by the scenic splendor of Hannibal, of which Lover's Leap was and is a prominent feature. Exploration and Imagination As a young boy growing up in Hannibal, Twain would have explored the bluffs, including Lover's Leap. These childhood adventures likely fueled his imagination and love for storytelling. The daring romance and tragic ending associated with Lover's Leap may have sowed the seeds for his interest in weaving tales of adventure, friendship, and the complexities of human relationships in his novels. Exploration of Complex Themes Mark Twain's writing often delved into complex themes of love, race, society, and the human condition. The legend of Lover's Leap with its forbidden love and ultimate sacrifice, provided Twain with a dramatic and emotionally charged narrative that mirrored the societal tensions and personal struggles he would later explore in his literature. Lover's Leap became not only a source of inspiration for Twain's writing, but also a symbol of his connection to Hannibal. It serves as a tangible link to his boyhood experiences and the place where he first developed his keen observations and storytelling skills. Twain's deep affection for his hometown, rooted in the memories of places like Lover's Leap, is evident in his writings. One simply cannot separate Mark Twain and his writings from the childhood places like Lover's Leap that helped shape them. In sum, 
Lover's Leap in Hannibal, Missouri, played a significant role in shaping Mark Twain's storytelling prowess. The legend and location stirred his imagination, influenced his descriptions of the natural world, and provided a backdrop for the exploration of themes that would become central to his literary works. Lover's Leap, like Twain's writings, stands as a testament to the enduring power of stories that capture the human spirit and the beauty of the world around us. In particular, the unbreakable power of true love captures the imaginations of us all. The basic story of Lover's Leap is found in stories all around the world, going back centuries, maybe even the dawn of time, perhaps even the first stories. Everyone can relate to the power of love. So, when you find yourself in Hannibal, Missouri, with the mighty Mississippi River unfurling before you, take a moment to stand on the bluffs at Lover's Leap. Gaze upon the same view that once inspired Mark Twain and consider the timeless legend of Winona and White Cloud, reminding us of the beauty of love and its triumph over all. Thank you for listening and subscribing to the Ancestral Findings podcast. For additional resources, visit ancestralfindings.com. You can download a free ebook, request a free genealogy lookup, and even participate in our weekly historical postcard giveaway. If you want to support us in more ways, consider supporting us on Patreon or PayPal. Every contribution helps to keep the lights on. From all of us at Ancestral Findings, Thank you for being an integral part of our family history community since 1995. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy searching.